What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new top 10 for you guys today and today we'll be covering top 10 soakers in ARK. Now guys, what this list is going to comprise of is pretty much dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are going to be the main soakers on this list. There is one thing that isn't a soaker and you will shortly see that. But other than that guys, the rest of the list will comprise of soakers. Now these soakers that you guys will be seeing on the list are dinosaurs that I'd recommend to use to soak turrets. Now guys, you can currently see just up ahead, we've got a sort of base. We do actually need a spyglass real quick. So we've got a base up ahead that has pretty much a multitude of turrets on it. The only turret that isn't located on it is a Plan X turret. So you can see there we've got heavy automated, we've got tech turrets, and then we've also got a singular auto turret. So guys, without further ado, let's jump into the list. Now kicking it off at number one is Flak Armor. Flak Armor is obviously one of the best soakers in Ark because of its durability. Now real quick here, you guys can see we've got really decent flak, like we obviously it's spawned in for the purpose of this video. 450 armor, 500 armor there, but the main thing you want to look for with your flak armor is its durability. Because the durability will show you how much, how long it's going to last against attacks. So you can see here our Mastercraft chest piece has 680 durability, which is much better than what some of our durability is on the rest of our armor. So honestly, our headpiece will probably be the first to break, I think, yeah. Our headpiece will be the first to break and that'll obviously result in us dying and then it'll be our legs and that stuff. So yeah, but flak is the best sort of armor you can soak in. As well as that, if you've got a really high movement speed, obviously this is crazily bumped up, you can actually soak and still make it to the base. We're not 100% sure if it's gonna work right now, but we're gonna try it. So we're aiming for that little hole, let's go. So you guys can see here, we lasted a total of like 10 seconds. No, that was, that was a bit dramatic. One second. So flak is an alternative to soaking. These turrets are fully loaded up with bullets though, however. So do take that into mind as well. But you guys saw there, against a base with like normal, uh, normal auto turrets, you can soak quite a little bit as well. So guys, let's move on to number nine. Alrighty guys, now coming in at number 9, we have the Carbonemus. Now you guys currently can't see him because he's in a little Pokeball, but the moment we throw this guy out, which he should get pretty damn far, okay, that didn't go as far as I want to. This guy's actually a really good soaker, the main reason being because he also takes reduced damage like the Trike does. Can I get him to whistle the turrets? Go get him, there we go. So you can see that he does take a little bit of reduced damage. But if you've got an army of these guys, and they are relatively easy to breed and like mutate and can't maintain, you can see there he's soaking, he was soaking for quite a bit of damage. He had about 20k health as well. Mind you that is with no mutations or anything like that as well, that's just pure turtle power. And he had a Mastercraft saddle on him for I think it was 43 damage as well, 43 armor. So turtles are really good soakers. So guys, do take that into mind when you're going about soaking bases. Now guys, next up we have the Bronto with a platform saddle. Now the Bronto is a semi-decent soaker. I mean, he's obviously at the top of the list at number eight. So he's like an okay soaker. He's better than the Quetzal, that's for sure. But this guy can get up to like 30k health, you can see there. We've also got some sweet veggie cakes on him and only a primitive Bronto saddle. So we're going to head up to the base and show you how long we last. But the same sort of fundamental thing is here with the Bronto. You want to build yourself a box around your player so that you yourself can't actually get shot and it's that your Bronto is the one that is getting shot. So we're going to slowly ease our way here and we should start taking damage real soon. There we go, you can see there, look at that. So the Bronto is capable of soaking, it is going to take a little bit of damage but like, it is a good way of soaking. If you've got a lot of turrets like that, you do want to invest in a really good platform saddle for the Bronto, otherwise you'll see there, it just got absolutely shredded. Let's move on to number seven. Okay guys, so coming in at number seven, we have the Packy Rhinosaurus. Now this guy is kind of like the cousin to the trike, and he's at number seven because he's a little bit more difficult to tame than the trike. That is the main reason why this guy is higher up on the list. Um, you'll see that with some of the other dudes that we've got on this list that the Paki Rhino is kind of in its right spot, I feel like anyway. It took us a while to come up with this list, 
So let me know if you guys think it should change or anything. But this guy's got a Mastercraft saddle on him. And the good thing about the Paki Rhinos is that when their face plates are shot, you actually take reduced damage. Now you can see here, we're only taking about 34 damage and then 8 damage from that small auto turret. So this is a really reliable way to soak. However, when the tech turrets come into play, that's when you've got to start worrying. Because if you're not wearing any protective gear as well, you can easily get shot off the back of your Paki Rhino. So guys, let's move on to number 6. Alrighty guys, so coming in at number 6, we have the Gas Bag. Now, the Gas Bag is probably one of the better soakers in my opinion as well. Because he's able to puff up, he's able to reduce the damage that he takes from bullets. And he can pretty much protect yourself. Now, as well as that, because he is a herbivore, he can also eat veggie cakes. And he get, gets a pretty decent amount of health on him. Now guys, just a little heads up as well. These guys aren't imprinted for any sort of stat either. Or bred for mutations or anything like that. So do take that into consideration as well. And he has a 72.8 armored saddle. So guys, let's back up here and we'll show you how the gas bag works. So you want to constantly be taking air in when you're getting shot on your gas bag. And you kind of just want to ease yourself into it. Otherwise, you can see there... You'll get shot at and you'll pretty much lose your gas ridiculously fast and you'll take the full damage of the turrets. Now you can see there, there we go, we're getting sort of shot and we're probably going to die if we're not careful. But it is possible to soak with the gas bag. These guys do have a lot of health and you won't get shot off the back of them if you continuously suck in the gas. Like I said, you do just have to be careful otherwise you'll lose all your gas and you will take the extra boosted damage which is really bad for the gas bag. But you can see there that the gas bag does have the capability of reducing the amount of damage it takes. We're just going to back up real slowly here. You can see there, 223 damage, which isn't bad at all. So guys, the gas bag comes in at number 6. Alrighty guys, so coming in at number 5 is the trike. Now, the trike is here and not a little bit higher or a little bit lower because I feel like they're pretty easy tames to get. They're pretty easy to breed. They're pretty easy to raid and imprint and all that sort of stuff on. So that's why they come in at number five, not higher or lower. Now guys, you can see here we've got a mate boosted pair. So these guys will actually reduce the damage as well, which is something I forgot to mention earlier in the video. If you do have a mate boosted pair of something that you're soaking with, they will take reduced damage. Now you can currently see here the trike has just under 10k health with a 45 armored saddle. And we're going to show you guys just how much soaking damage this guy can actually do. So he's a pretty good soaker as long as you take your time and sort of ease into it. Oh god, you stupid trike. Well, that thing just got itself killed. So as long as you kind of ease into it and make sure that it hits the faceplate, your trike should be okay. Like you can see here, we are soaking pretty damn good. We're obviously going to die if we decide to stay there any longer, but it is a really good way to soak. I would definitely recommend trikes to soak. Especially for low bases like that, that aren't built up very high because if they are built up too high, your trike won't actually be able to soak it and they'll be able to shoot over your trike's crest. I believe it's 8 walls high is the maximum the trike can soak. So if they're higher than that, you will get shot off the back of your trike. Alrighty guys, and coming in at number 4, we have the rock elemental. Or the rock golem, whatever you want to call it. Now this guy is pretty beastly, oh the god that's the wrong button, this guy is pretty damn beastly at soaking turrets. Now the only thing to keep into mind with the rock elemental is that you actually need to walk backwards, otherwise you will get shot off him and you will die. But you can see here this guy is soaking like crazy. He's got 26k health, a level 25 armored saddle and look at that, we, are, we probably could soak all these turrets out if we really wanted to. Let's back up a little bit here and show you guys just how well he's able to soak. There we go, you can see there we're soaking it all, soaking it all. Here they come the tech turrets at 375. They're the big ones that you really want to avoid. The tech turrets just decimate absolutely everything. But you can see there that one of the, two of the heavy turrets and like three of the tech turrets have actually been soaked and you can still hide behind your rock elemental body if he does get killed before getting shot and die. Alrighty guys, and the team coming in at number three is none other than the Paris Air Ethereum. This guy's got the same sort of fundamentals as the Bronto, where you want to build the platform saddle, build a little box to protect yourself, and then get shot at. Now, this guy's got about 24k health and only 49.6 armored saddle, but you can get Ascendant saddles that have like 98 armor, which will really help your 
Parasaur Ethereum Soak. It'll actually half the amount of damage that we're taking at the moment. As well as that, you've got the Sweet Veggie Cakes. Majority of the time when it comes to soaking, it's just about being smart and when to pull back your tames. You can see there, our Parasaur Ethereum's getting a little bit damaged. We're gonna pull him back here, let him enjoy his Veggie Cakes, let him get a little bit more health back. You can see there, he'll eat another one straight away. That restores quite a bit of health. That is the go-to for restoring your herbivores when soaking. And we'll just, we'll just do it again. You know, boom. And just back up a little bit. That's, that is the main, that is the main crux of soaking turrets in Ark. Knowing when to go forward and knowing when to go back. Especially if you're offline raiding, because if you're offline raiding, you don't have to really worry about too much, except for other players coming in and stealing your, uh, stealing your loot. So guys, the Parasaur Ethereum comes in at number three on this list. Alrighty guys, coming in at number two is none other than the Reaper King. These guys are probably one of, uh, the, well that's why they're at number two, one of the best soakers in all of Ark. Now the main reason being because when you soak with your Reaper King, its face plates protect you and it takes the reduced damage. Now if you're going up against someone that doesn't have any light pets or is able to get that glow effect in the immediate area, your Reaper King will actually be able to soak a whole heap of damage because he takes reduced damage if there's no glow pets or anything like that nearby. Now, very similar to uh, the other carnivores, well, there actually aren't any other carnivores. You want to bring a lot of meat or a daydon or a snow owl, anything that you can use to heal him up because that will help you greatly. The only downside effect to these guys is that they don't have saddles. However, you can get these guys' health incredibly high, which is obviously going to help you immensely. But you can see here, if we just run straight in, we're going to get shot at by the tech turrets, and he really soaks the tech turrets well. Dealing 150 damage to him, it really soaks them well. So guys, the Reaper King comes in at number two on this list. And finally guys, the one you've all been waiting for, the creature coming in at number one is the Stego. The Stego, in my opinion, is one of the easiest tames to tame, one of the easiest tames to breed, and one of the best tames to use for soaking. Unlike the trike, the Stego does take a little bit more damage, however it protects the rider from all angles. So if your enemy has like cliff platforms with turrets on it, your Stego will protect you with its plates. Now you can currently see here it's got 16k health, 68 armored saddle and 2 veggie cakes in it. We're going to go up here on the side and we are going to soak and you can see there, boom, look at that, we're taking 86 damage from the heavies if we just sort of ease our way into it. You can see there that we're able to soak pretty well. But like I said previously, it's all about knowing when to go backwards and when to go forwards. If you're taking too much damage, you obviously are going to want to back off. Otherwise, you'll die and your Stego will die. But these guys are breedable. They're one of the easiest teams to imprint on and they're one of the easiest teams to raise, in my opinion. As well as that, they're just one of the best soakers because of the plates protecting the rider from every angle. So guys, we're going to wrap up the video here. Let me know what you thought of it down below. Let me know if there's anything that you would change out for anything. Let me know whether or not you guys agreed with it. I personally think the list is pretty on point with where I've put everything in terms of easiness to tame, easiness to breed, easiness to raise, all that sort of stuff, what armored saddles you can get for them and everything. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of it down below in the comments. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out my other top 10 videos. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one. And I got this soda. Remember